Hey maker, that mom with a laser here, and it's time for me to clean my honeycomb tray. It's gotten really bad. I mean, like nasty. So bad that I've kind of been putting it off. But alas, I can't put it off anymore and it needs to get done. Today, I have a babysitter and I've got time. So I am gonna go ahead and give it a go. I've done a lot of reading on this and most people like to use a degreaser. I've seen that Easy Off is probably one of the most popular ones and a pressure cleaner. However, I can't find the Easy Off readily available. I have to order it online, but I only have today to clean this baby. And I've read that Totally Awesome from the dollar store totally works. So we're gonna give it a shot. Let's see how it goes. Come on. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my wrench and I'm going to open the front axis panel to my Eon Mira 7. Then I'm going to gently remove my tray, making sure not to hit anything while I'm removing it from the machine. The Easy Off from the dollar store doesn't come with a spritzer, so I had to put it in a spritzer bottle. And then I went ahead and I sprayed everything, I put some gloves on, and I made sure to spray both sides as thoroughly as possible. I let the solution sit for a few minutes and then went at it with my hose. And this is in real time, so you can see it really didn't go very fast. Here you can see I'm kind of making progress, but at this point I'm already losing patience. So I went ahead and changed my hose nozzle to see if it would go any faster, and thankfully it did. I'm gonna try and show you guys what it looks like while I'm actually running the hose. So you can see in real time how it starts to come off but it's a process. So we're getting there. Do not be like me. Clean your tray more frequently, for sure. I had originally thought I would try to save the gunk and put it down the drain so that I don't destroy my husband's lawn, but that's not gonna work because this is way too nasty, but you can see how gross it is. Yeah. Lots of cleaning ahead of me. So far, it's a lot better, but it's definitely still very gunky. I'm gonna give it another go in just a little bit, but it's a hot floor today, so I think I'm gonna go take a dip in the pool with my kiddos, and then I'll come back to this beast. Okay, so this is about as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> it was pretty filthy. So this is what I was able to get out with um, Totally Awesome and just my hose. And I have cleaned it from every angle. I, I flipped it over, I cleaned it on this side, on that side, I turned it around. I mean, I did every angle I possibly could and this is as good as I got it. So now what I'm doing is every 30 minutes I'm coming out here and I am turning it to make sure that water isn't pooling at the bottoms. The majority of this is made out of aluminum, so it's not gonna rust, thankfully. And now I'm just gonna call it a day, let it dry, and put it back in my machine. Woo! Boy, was that an endeavor. Oh my goodness. But let me tell you, I am so glad. This is what it looks like before. <coughs> and this is what it looks like after. <coughs> so, you know what? totally awesome it's totally awesome i will tell you this though next time i definitely think that i will plan ahead i'll try to use easy off instead and i'll try to get my hands on a pressure cleaner because i'm pretty sure the process would have gone a lot faster but for a dollar and a little bit of elbow grease i'm pretty happy with the results so that's it for today guys go ahead and learn a lesson from me don't wait so long to clean your honeycomb tray and i'll see you guys here soon over at that mom with the laser